Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario Party. Today we are moving back into the Mario Party game mode with the brand new map we just unlocked. We'll be playing as Daisy as we're moving our way along, along this you know, first line of characters. Another princess, of course last episode we played as Princess Peach. But uh, yeah, we unlocked the Kamek map, I think. We actually defeated the hard difficulty. I don't know if we should do the very hard just yet, or if we should try to get some more practice. I mean, I didn't win, so I think we should try to beat hard mode before we move on to very hard. So. There we go, have a great party. And of course, we can walk up to other people around. I know we did that at the very end of the last episode. We found Rosalina and had her join. What about you, Koopa? Hey, will you sign my shell? Just your autograph though, okay? No doodles. Uh, sure. No, will you not actually let me? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, oh, what about Birdo? Hey, hey, Birdo here. How you doing, Daisy? This is the 11th party, can you believe it? You can really feel the history. Back then, what happened was, I mean, so I've heard, not that I remember, I guess Birdo is telling us the history of Mario Party. I figured we'll explore more of this very soon, but I've been just really enjoying playing the main Mario Party game mode, so we'll keep with that. Of course, we're fully gonna explore everything sooner or later, but for right now, I just wanna focus on this. So we, of course, have the next map. Yeah, last episode was Mega Fruit Paradise. Now it's Kamek's Tantalizing Tower. The cost of stars changes? It's a fierce fight for coins, and everything's made out of gold. I like it. So we're gonna do 10 turns as per usual, and hopefully we'll have a good time. Um, Yeah, let's start. So, uh. We'll give this our best shot and see what ends up happening. There's a thwomp, there's a chain chomp. Oh, this is a little scary. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Some kind of like store or something. Yeah, Kamek has this place totally decked out in gold. Is this his house or something? It's his tantalizing tower. There you are, adventurers. This is it, the last board. This is your first time, right? Yes. Kamek came up with this one. It's a pr pretty swanky place, don't you think? Over there, right around the chain chomps, watchful eyes. It's a giant golden statue of Kamek looking down on the town. Heed the statue well. It's what tells you how many coins you need to get a star. Oh, that's interesting. How much do you think you'll have to fork over for one star? It changes all the time. <laughs> There are also, there's also a thwomp hanging around that'll block your path. I heard him say anyone who wants to come this way needs to give me coins. Wow. Bad news too, nobody can pass without paying more coins than the last person he let through. That's a lot of tid to take in, huh? Watch for all the obstacles as you go. By the way, do you need to hear the rules of this adventure? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay then, let's roll dice and to find out the turn order. It is very weird that this game doesn't, ah, oh, I'm in last place. Dang it. I mean, that wasn't, that's not always too bad. First, Wario, second, Waluigi. Third Peach, and fourth Daisy. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird, this game doesn't seem to have many maps. I feel like Mario Party 8, the one I had the most familiarity with, had like at least like six or seven different playable maps. This is our fourth map, so that's sort of weird. But I mean, I know there's plenty of other game modes to enjoy, so we'll check those out as well and see what those have to offer. Because some, some of the other, uh, Mario Party games, they're just the Mario Party mode, you know? Here are five coins as a present, so everybody gets a good start, as per usual. Okay, I'm sure we're all curious to see where the, the star will be. So we also have to find out how much it'll cost. So Toadette still has the star, it would be funny if Kamek did. And she's right. So I guess whoever steps on that will find out how much it costs. Two stars, shiny and new, just for you. If you come over, I can give you up to two stars right off the bat. Bring all the coins you can to get loads of stars. That might be really good. Who can collect the most stars by the end? The adventure is on. So who's gonna win this time? Hopefully me, cause I got my butt kicked last episode. All right, so Wario starts, which is weird. Usually he's in last place. Okay, go at it, Wario. What you gonna get? A six? Not bad, dude, not bad. I mean, I feel like the only Mario Party round we've won so far was with Luigi. And that one I also was last. So maybe, you know, I have a bad luck with Mario and Peach, but we'll have good luck with Luigi and Daisy. That'd be weird. Coinado, steal five to 10 coins from rivals. Interesting item. So he used his five coins, but he's gonna at least get that back. Whoa, and all the blue spaces are immediately plus six, so now plus three. Wow, interesting. So there's a lot of money going through this map. Does that mean on the last three turns, the blue spaces will be plus 12? That'd be crazy. So there's gonna be a lot of coins being earned up everywhere. In my item shop, would you like to buy something? The Coinado was five coins. Okay, so, uh, interesting, you want for the mushroom. The coinado seems like a no-brainer. It would be nice if you could buy more than one item, but then 
I don't know, maybe that'd be a little much. With a Coinado, you get at least, you know, your coins back, if not more. Okay, so what is she gonna roll? A four. I need to see Daisy's die. It might be good, might not be good, we'll find out together. It's a really crazy map so far. We're gonna take a look at it as soon as it's our turn. Uh, so here we go, Daisy start, and take a look. So let's first take a look at the board. This is, uh, you know, the tower. Time for a toe tip. Okay, that, that's the path. The blue route takes you in, in front of the, a hungry chain chomp on your way to the star. I can see that for sure, instead of maybe like the thwomp. Okay, gotcha. The road route looks like a shortcut past that, but you can't take it without a thwomp demanding your coins. Then there's a path to the left that doesn't look like it goes anywhere, does it? Stay, say, what does this event space do? Huh, I wonder. Um, yeah, we'll check that out, I guess. Uh, so here's our starting space. Let's go ahead and also take a look at Daisy's specific die. As you can see, it rolls a three, 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 three four, so I forgot to read the description of the dice block before we head into here, I, I don't think I can now. But I mean, that's a pretty decent chance. Like really, you can't get too high with it, of course, but at the least you aren't gonna get too low either. Three's a decent medium, four is all right too, so we get a three, I I'm fine with that for now. So that's very interesting, I actually like her play style so far. All right, so that's plus six coins. Hmm. Mini game time. So yeah, let's find out what we're doing here. First mini game of the day. I like this map. It's just also really intimidating, you know? We're doing rumble fishing. Oh my gosh, all, all the rumble ones are always tough. Uh, so rumble fishing. Fish for the strongest rumble. You only get one chance to make it count, really? So yeah, I guess the idea is you gotta go to all the spots. Whoa, look what I found. That was cool. Okay, so we just have to sort of fish around and feel the strongest one. Oh, they're all super long. Okay. They're all, I think that's a fish from New Super Mario Bros. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're just gonna try out each one. That is not very strong. Uh, Much stronger, you know, I'm gonna go for this one. That might have been a bad idea. They keep missing. <laughs> that's, I mean, maybe that's something I, I should have maybe tried a little bit more. <laughs> this sort of went for what I could right away. Ooh, this might be another mini game I lose then, just because I jumped too soon. Oh, she won. She definitely won. I'm like 50% sure that she, yeah, wow. Oh, wow, I wasn't close behind though. Darn, I was really close. So Peach wins. The chances were low that I would have just grabbed, you know, something else and she would have gotten that before me or something, you know? But uh, yeah, lucky her, she won. I got plus four coins though. Definitely getting a lot of money is gonna be super important with this one. Okay, so now, well, already I was tied for last instead of being in dead last. All right, so what's gonna go on now? It looks like Wario starts. Um, and he's just going to use his coin and please don't use it on me. Random, he doesn't care who it hits. He's ruthless. Okay, not me, Waluigi, the other last place guy. <laughs> not for long. So that could have taken up the 10 coins. You think you would have done either me or Peach because that way you could maybe get up to 10, but no, he's just gonna take eight. Yeah, that was sort of a bad move then. Like it could have been better. All right, well, he definitely got his money back for that. He just had to pay a little bit forward at first. Okay, so uh, hey, what is he up to now? He's actually gonna go for the Thwomp, interestingly enough. And now he's in first, look at him. And Waluigi here, he is going to go where? Because obviously, like, obvi if each person uses the Thwomp, by the time I get to it, it's gonna be very expensive. So if they're all going Thwomp, I think I may avoid it, oh boy. Oh, he's actually, no, he's passing it up. He's gonna get the lucky space. Wow, what is this? Um, okay, get several dash mushrooms. Lucky you. How many did you get? Two of them. Wow, that's crazy. Waluigi's doing well so far. Peach is gonna start. And she's, and nobody's using their special die. I mean, I guess Waluigi might have. I think he did. And you get a one. Oh, yeesh, not good. <laughs> she might buy something with these uh, coins she has. Here's 19. This is my item shop. Okay, she's gonna buy a normal mushroom. I'm tempted at this point. I don't think I need a coinado this time around. Like coins seem important, but if I keep winning mini games or at least getting second place, I should be fine. So I might end up actually getting a mushroom. All right, Daisy, let's get to it. If there's any available at this point. So I should be able to guarantee be able to get to the shop here. That's always nice. You know, see that's, this is why I really like Daisy's eyes so far. She might be one of the most well-balanced characters. Uh, 
Let's see. Okay, there's always more available, isn't there? I feel like some things do run out, like the pipe. The golden pipe definitely runs out after like a purchase or two of it. But we should get six more coins, so we're now up to 18. So I'm still in third. That's sort of the thing. Waluigi has three mushrooms, but zero coins and zero stars. So at this rate, he's not gonna have enough money to get anything if he gets to the stars. We don't know how much the stars are gonna cost yet until somebody passes that one green thing. Feeding Frenzy. What is this one? Okay, so hold vertically. Feeding Frenzy. Throw the balls uh, into the open mouths. Oh, it's like skee ball. Um, making a shot when the mouth is glowing is worth extra. Okay, but how do I... Yeah, okay, that's a weaker throw. So it's like a weaker, th there's a weak throw and then there's a hard throw. Gotcha, okay, so I'm ready, I'm ready. Boop. So, uh, let's try it. <laughs> so I gotta do weak throws and hard throws. I just gotta pay attention to that's a hard throw, of course. There we go. Oh, I got a couple in there. They only got one. Like, all those guys just got one each. It's very easy to do a hard throw accidentally. Just like when you're rushing. Okay, so I got a good couple there. Getting that far one. I am like dominating in score right now. It really is like a weird version of ski ball or something. I, mean, I guess it is sort of more like basketball. You just throw the ball into the, the hoop. Okay, there it is. Back that way. No, throw far. Far. Yeah, okay, we definitely did good. We more than doubled everybody's score. Awesome stuff. So Daisy wins. New record is 45. That was a fun one. I like it. So there's that done. And we're gonna hold it. I know I already am, don't you worry. Okay, so, plus eight coins for that one. Nothing major, but Peach didn't get any coins. Okay, so I'm now in second place because of that. We're tied for first, actually, not bad. Okay, and I do have a mushroom to keep moving if I wanted to. I mean, if I wanted to try to get a three, though, like, now would be a good time to try to land on that lucky space. Maybe, or maybe that would be two, two moves, I don't know. Um, I'll have to check the map to make sure. Sort of hard to tell. So he's going to not do the thwomp. He's doing a lucky space as well. Everybody's trying to cash down on that lucky space. Uh, looks like make a rival lose five coins. Me, really? That was unnecessary. Oh well. Waluigi's going now. Yeah, what is that little shop looking thing on the right? Is that anything? I don't know, this chain chomp I don't trust. Oh, he got a one. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing anything bad, but I think if anybody lands on the event spaces up top, that's where things get nasty for them, that's where Chain Chomp will start attacking. So since nobody has used Thwomp yet, I'm actually really tempted to. Peach might though, she's got her plus three here with the mushroom. She's gonna use the dice and get a six, wow. So you just got a nine, that's really good. And you are gonna actually go this way though. So you are going to, oh gosh, okay, so yeah, this is something. Nothing doing, nothing doing, unless you buy something? What does nothing doing mean? Oh wow, she got that. Uh, custom dice block, roll whatever you want from one to six. That's really the only worthwhile thing there. I think it's gone now. Oh, she almost landed in the chain chomp space too. So she gets plus six coins still. Oh my, what's she doing now? Oh, come on, she found a hidden block. Don't wanna be a star, don't wanna be a star. Thank you. There's gonna be a couple coins, but it's, it's not a star. All right, well, there's that. So Daisy start. What I wanna take real quick, uh, use the item you just got. I will later, hold on. Uh, why don't you try using it now? Um, this is, yeah, like right here, this is two moves. So I can't really do that with the normal block, but if I move this, like this is five spaces. So if I were to roll a, if I use my mushroom, then at minimum I'm gonna get a six, so I could get to here, which is really what I want. I wanna get around the chain chomp. So I think I'll do that. Um, and at most I can get a seven. So one of these two spaces. So if I use the mushroom and then use Daisy's block, which both of those are fine. So let's go ahead and use our item, our one mushroom, plus three to our dice roll and then make sure we use Daisy's die. I mean, it keeps us a little bit farther behind, but it definitely allows us a huge chunk of control. There we go, we got a four. Um, and sometimes in a game like this, way more worth it, you know? So we're gonna go up this way. The Thwomp is gonna stop us this way to the star. We're gonna be like, ah, hand over one or more coins, pay. Can I choose? Oh, I could really up the ante. I'm just gonna keep it at one, because nobody else wanted to go through the Thwomp. I think he says you're clear to pass. Okay, thank you, Thwomp. All right, so we get plus six coins. Really, really worth it. At this point, you know, we're pretty close to the star. 
Unfortunately, we won't have that for next turn, but I think we're only like one, maybe two moves, te yeah, two moves technically away from the star, I think. Maybe three, hard to tell. Uh, but we get ourselves cruising for a bruising. What is this? Uh, cruiser for a bruising, run from the oncoming bruisers. Oh, these guys are cool. Uh, be careful of pipes. Uh, bruisers might be hiding inside, oh no. So we just run away. Okay, we got it. I probably should play more of the practice, but I'm gonna learn the hard way. Oh gosh, here they come, everybody run. Wow, there's so many of them. Let's go. Oh, I got a head start. In front of everybody else, Dace is the fastest runner apparently. There's no way to jump or anything. It's just running to the right. Oh, I chose a good path so far. You guys had to dodge a bunch of stuff. I did not, yeah, I'm gonna flip over this way. Move it, Wario and Waluigi. You two are always pounding about. Maybe it's always the red one that doesn't have any, yeah, I guess it's always the red one that has op not, no obstacles for some reason. All right, I got confused between which one I was between. Oh, maybe not Peach and Daisy. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. Oh, I shouldn't have done the blue one, but I did do the blue one. Ugh. Gosh, it's really getting intense now. Out of the way, Daisy. Oh, I wanna try to push her back. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake! No, dang it, she keeps winning! Ah, <laughs> Well, she won. I got second place, so that's something, right? Dang. Yeah, I tried to sort of like push her out of the way and she ended up pushing me. Well, that's that's a shame. Uh, well, 36 coins for her. I have 30, which is still quite a lot. It really depends on what kind of thing she rolls this time. She might get to the star before us, which is really the big bummer of having to be the last person to play. Like that sometimes can be a distinct disadvantage. And sometimes it can be a very, Big advantage, it's hard to say. So Wario just got a one. Not really too worried about that. I mean, they're getting a lot of coins, but. So let's see what Waluigi gets. Uh, Let it be low. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. That way they're just sort of out of our hair. He can buy something, but honestly, he has max items at the moment, so he's probably going to take a pass. Wait, why'd he do that? He already has three mushrooms. He can't, he has to, he literally just wasted six coins. Why did he do that? <laughs> All right, well he's silly. Could have just had 18 coins there. Peach is gonna start, please roll one, please roll one. Or, yeah, roll one. Or maybe a two. One or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. Dang it, why do you get everything? <laughs> uh, but how much are they? I've been waiting for the stars, it was. Yeah, but how much are they? They're 10 each still. Oh, I thought that when you'd run by that would change the price of them. Dang, so she's just gonna get two stars now. Yes. That is a pain. You got stars. Wow, okay, so she gets plus two. We don't have anything, so we're still in third place. Man, this is really tough. Peach is in the lead. All right, how much will the price per star? Okay, now it changes. And if somebody lands on that, it might change again. Oh, five, that's a bargain. Oh my. Wow, one star now costs five coins. That is really, really cheap. And you are gonna land, ooh, on the Versus. This is where I can get some coins back. I mean, I didn't lose any, but every player wagers coins and then you blah, blah, blah. You get coins depending on your ranking in the mini game. So we know about this one. Uh, five, ah, oh, not much. Hoping for more. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, sorry I was silent. I was really trying to wait for it. Point twenty-eight, not bad. Okay, so there's that done. So I'm at 37 coins. So now she'd still be able to buy two stars with that. I mean, oh, but it's still in the same place. Oh, weird. So I just need to roll three here and I got it. So definitely just use Daisy's dice. Oh my gosh, so I can get two stars as well. Four, nice. That is perfect, because she doesn't move at all. I've been waiting for start with stars for somebody to drop by. All right, let's get your stars, two of them. You did, Daisy, you got some stars. See who's in the lead now, Princess Peach, it's me. And then it's gonna re-roll and cost a different amount now. So I've gotten the cheapest stars, unless it rolls for a five again, but I'm hoping it will roll for like a 10 or a 15. I mean, obviously Wario could still buy two of them, even if it is just 10, but if it's 15, it's gonna be right below. So let's see that. Daisy takes first place. All right, how much will the price for per star change this time? 
Uh, 15, nice. This means Waluigi cannot buy a star and Mario can only buy one. Wow, one star now costs 15 coins. Okay, so it seems like it can only cost five, 10, or 15. Uh, ooh, item spot to get a mushroom, that's good. Dash mushroom, plus three to dice roll. Okay, not bad. Because I really gotta start moving now. I really gotta start like, getting farther along with everything and try to get back over there by the time it gets cheap again. Um, looking for love. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, look for the heart. Don't be fooled by the other colors or suits. So I just gotta look left. Oh, I got it. So I gotta. Gotcha. That's really simple. We just look up, down, wherever we need to look. And whoever does it first gets the most points. We'll try it out. Oh, look at the, everybody's like, why, why is this an exercise place? What does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Look at the heart. All right, I got the first one. Got it. Oh, she looked the wrong way. No, wait, wait, I looked the wrong way, dang it. I didn't mean to press that. Oh, this is tough. Oh, oh, we all took a second. Wario's really good at this. <laughs> that one was awkward. Uh, no, ah. Who won? Oh, it was me still. Yeah, I won. Look at the charging chucks working out. But why is this in an exercise? For is this an X? Uh, not an X, a neck exercise? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> That's weird. Um. But there we go, we got plus eight coins for that one. Wario doesn't get any coins, which is perfect, because that means he still can't buy two two uh, stars. He can only buy one. Unless he gets more on the way there, I guess. All right, Wario's gonna start. Let's see what he ends up getting here. He's gonna use his Wario uh, dice, which might mean he gets minus coins. Yes, he gets minus coins. Perfect stuff. But I mean, he does get plus six for staying on the blue space out. Okay, well then that's not too big of a deal. I mean, really, I just don't want him to move too far, so he's gonna use one of his dash mushrooms. That's good. He should've just used one last turn and then got another one. Let's see what he ends up getting, because he's he could roll up to a seven here. He does get a seven, so that's a 10. So he has enough to get a star. He probably is going to get one, because what else are the coins for, really? I mean, that are more important, so. Waddleweed is gonna get one star. Obviously not as advantageous, but it's something. But now, of course, if the price is going to re-roll, it could become 15 again, but I doubt it. You got a star. Okay, so he gets a star. Look at you, so Wario's in last place again. Yeah. We're still in first. Really, it's just a matter of coins for right now, as we get farther along. Waluigi takes third place. All right, how much will the price per star change this time? Ooh, don't go down to five for now. Oh, it's five again. <laughs> Waluigi looks so upset. He's like, what, I could have bought three stars with the price that I bought my star. Poor old Waluigi. All right, well, he tried his best. He's gonna try to go all the way back around. Whoa, what is this special event? Whoa, he's getting taken. Toady lift. Oh, no, not fair. I gotta land on that thing. <laughs> he's like, Arr. That's a nice little shortcut for him. Let's see what you get. Actually, if I were to roll a three, it'd be fine. I could definitely do that. So let's try to roll a three. That'd be a nice shortcut. She rolls a zero. <laughs> Poor Princess Peach. I have a very high chance of rolling a three. So let's see if we can't do it. This is why I really like Daisy's die so far. No, 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 not, not the item. I don't need the item. Dice block. Come on, three, boom. Yeah, okay, awesome. Chances were on my side for that one. Yeah, nice, okay, so special event, I get moved hopefully right where Lu Waluigi was. Yes, okay, that is perfect, I love that. So I get plus six coins for that one too, right? No, I don't, okay, that's fine, I don't care. Uh, because we're still in the lead, I don't need the coins as much as other people need the coins, especially when we're going in a mini game where I may win. All right, so ooh, if we could do one of the coin mini games, we got Fuzzy Flight School. So there seems to be a lot more mini games we haven't done. Dodge the fuzzies, hit three fuzzies and you're out. Okay, whoa, it's motion control though. Whoa, it's motion control for sure. All right then. Um, so let's, yeah, let's just go for it. Ow, oh, hit three fuzzies, okay. Oh, I like this, this is a pretty cool little area. It's like, yeah, it really is, it's like flight school. I mean, it feels a little dangerous. Whoa, oh, somehow I didn't hit that. The motion controls are not easy. So Peach is already out, which is good, because she's my main competition. 
So her not getting any coins from this mini game is great. I haven't gotten hit out at all until Waluigi got in the way because he's a jerk. I'm gonna hide in this corner for now because I can. Yeah, <laughs> that was really easy. Okay, look at us, we win. We only got one point of damage. Yeah, okay, good job. So uh, with that, I get plus eight coins. Peach gets plus zero, which is sort of the biggest thing. Wario gets 35 coins in total right now, so if he does get to the star before me, it will be scary because he'll be able to get two stars right away. I mean, you know, I'll still be sort of tied with him. We'll have to wait and see. For right now though, I still haven't used, uh, I actually have a lot of options. Yes, that's perfect. That is so, so perfect. Okay, so him just staying in place is good. Waluigi's probably gonna catch up a lot, probably go through the, with the swamp, but I really hope he doesn't. He didn't use any of his items, so if he rolls low here, yes, that's so good. Okay, so they are making really silly mistakes right now. I can definitely get like a higher roll. If I use my mushroom with a normal block, at minimum I get a four, so I think I should go with that. I mean, I could use a daisy and get a minimum six or a minimum seven, so like maybe I should just use that with their daisy. I just like, yeah, it's, it's so good. Daisy's dice is really nice. Uh, this is my item shop. What are you gonna get? You might get a coinado. Nope, you're just gonna get a mushroom. Okay, so they get, she gets a dash mushroom, and then we are gonna move forward after her. So she's doing okay, but not perfect. We are gonna be doing really well if this goes my way. So we're gonna use our items. Um, it will be the dash mushroom, and then at the minimum we'll get a roll of six, which has, which sounds pretty good. You know, my chances are on my side with that. So, uh, roll the dice block, and boom, a three. So we're gonna get a six. That's pretty good. Because I can get up here, that's four. I'm going to yep, keep going this way. Oh, but I'm gonna land on the exclamation point. That's fine. He says, hand over two or more coins if you want to pass. Pay. Two coins sounds fine to me, because I'm still the only one using the thwomp. And even if it is the highest amount, 15 coins, I don't care, because I can pay that. I can so pay that. Special event, gonna reroll right before I get to it. What is it, 15. Once again, I can still pay that. So it's not the end of the world. Whoa, every star is now 15 coins. It'd be crazy if it could go higher than that, like 20 or 50. 50 coins for one star. Four player mini game. I can, I can handle that though. I can actually sell four of that and still have 11 coins left over. Rattle and hmm. What is this? Rattle and hmm. Pay attention to the, pay close attention to the rumbling and find the answer. Okay, so like, feel the difference between three types of rumbling. The first to find the right answer gets the most points. Interesting. So then it closes. Interesting for sure. I think that was the spike. It sounded like a rolling, it felt like a rolling to me. Maybe I'm wrong now. Oh yeah, it was the bottom. I wasn't really paying too much attention, I was trying to read it. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Of course, the vibration is very similar to the sound because sounds are a type of vibration. Okay, so we got the spike. Okay, that's just like a little quick, but that like lasts longer. And then this is a lot lighter and it's two of them. Gotcha, so those should be pretty easy to figure out. Yep, that's the bob Okay, easy. Wow. Definitely not, definitely not the spike. That was basically me in the practice. All right, so, I don't know if she just doesn't get a point or if she's out. I guess she just doesn't get a point. Okay, time for the next one. Round two. Oh wow, underwater. Okay. That's a little bit longer. Oh, they, those are so similar. That's that's a blooper. Definitely the blooper. Uh, they all, okay, for a second they all agreed until they stopped. I'm pretty sure it's the blooper. What, really? Oh, that's so hard to tell. It is so difficult. What an interesting mini game. So I got no points for that one, that's so lame. Final round, if I get this one though, I could win. Okay. That's much stronger. That one's only on the left, really weird. Okay, so. I think that's a torpedo, Ted. 
It better be the Torpedo Ted. I'm gonna go for it. Going all in. I'm gonna be so upset. You can't back out once you make your decision either. Come on! No! Man, that's so difficult. That is like one of the most challenging mini games. Weird. So I definitely got my butt kicked with that one. That is so tough. Weird. Well, Wario wins. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know really what I could do to do that one better. Because it just feels like it's one of those things whether you're good at it or you're not, you know? I mean, I'm not sure the more practice I could get in memorizing the noises, but it doesn't matter. I still have enough to get the stars. And that's, you know, what I'm trying to get. Because so, Waluigi, Peach, and Wario are just nowhere near close enough. Unless, like, Wario gets one heck of a roll here. Like, even if he gets, I think he can get a nine. Even if he gets a nine, I don't think that's enough. What item will he get? There's a poison mushroom if he wants to get that. And I guess he will. Six coins for that, so he's down to 41. Minus two to rival special. He might be able to reach it. I'm a little worried now. Five, four, three, two. Oh my. Oh no, poor Wario. Bad luck space. Wah wah. What's it gonna be? Hee hee hee. Welcome to the bad luck space. Wario, stop the roulette wheel. Oh. Lose 10 coins. Ah, oh, now he won't have enough for two stars again. So even if he somehow made it there before me, which he isn't, because I don't even need to roll anything, I just need to move. Like, even if I rolled a one, I would still get it. Um, So he's gonna try to move far. I mean, if he went through the thwomp, he could get there before me, but he could only buy one star, and then it would refresh its price. So that might actually end up good for me, because it can't get any more expensive, you know? So actually, I wouldn't mind that. Go for it, Waluigi. He's gonna go, he's gonna pay. Oh no! But he can't, he can't even. He's gonna go down to 12. The poor guy, he didn't even think about it. He's gonna have to pass up the stars in general. <laughs> he made it, way to go. <laughs> you don't have enough coins to exchange for a star, Oh. Oh wait, whoa, but still, because he walked by it, it changes? Interesting, so now they're 10. A bit more for, I'll save myself 10 coins. Because you know, before the 30, now it's just 20. Sure, I'll take it. Interesting. <laughs> okay, but he gets an ally. Ooh, lucky him. I really want an ally too, so hopefully I can roll a three. Chances are high that I could. He gets Koopa. All right, Koopa looks interesting. No think I've seen Koopa yet, so that's pretty cool. Mind if I tag along? I bet I could help out. Oh, there's a 10. Okay. So Peach is gonna go. No way she can catch up, even with like her mushroom, if she rolls a six, that's a nine. Like maybe she could get really close, but I don't think she can get all the way here. I mean, it's actually really a small board. It seems bigger than it is because it has a couple of divulging paths. But in reality, yeah, it really isn't that big. So she's gonna keep moving this way. And I guess, yeah, she'll just go this way, get an item. Makes sense. What does she get? She gets another one of those. That's not too bad. Custom dice blocks, she can get the six. Just keep moving. It does seem like they could be quite helpful. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll with Daisy's dice block. Hopefully get a three so I can get an ally. But I don't know if I, actually now I'm thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't take an ally. I mean, I don't have a choice now. Um, so we'll take both of these, obviously, and get ourselves up to four stars. Nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I don't know if an ally is gonna help because that's gonna actually limit the controllability I have. So there we go, we are up to four stars already. I mean, I really need to have a good head start on stars because I really don't know what the bonus stars are gonna be. If it's a mini game star, I might not get that. I haven't been doing very good with the mini games today. How much is the star now? It's probably gonna be five. It hasn't been five in a little while. It's 15 again, actually, that's fine. I want it be more expensive. Okay, so uh, I could still afford one more star if I, if I had the chance. Okay, so it looks like we get ourselves that ally space. And who are we gonna get? It will be Shy Guy. Hey, not bad. Hey there, Shy Guy. How are you? Wow. <laughs> I love Shy Guy's little noises. I'm Shy Guy. I'm gonna collect lots of stars. All right, if the if the place you need to be exactly four spaces away, then yeah, there's a very high chance we can get that. That's actually pretty cool. Sort of like Daisy's in that way. Okay, so the four player mini game. Gridrion, Grid Gridoron Gauntlet? What is this? 
Uh, oh, it's like a grid iron. Stay in it to the end. Get tackled three times and you're out. Wow, okay, we're not even in proper football gear. You think they'd give us a helmet or something? Sports can be dangerous without proper protective gear. Okay, so gotta remember that we're Daisy. Because I feel like this is something I could easily forget. So just gotta pay attention to the grid that they're on. That actually isn't too bad. Oh, it actually, it's a little weird though. Because there's like a downward thing to it. So I thought that they were on the one above that. They weren't. Okay, now, now I've got it though. I'm not gonna get tackled anymore. Or, or maybe I will. I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Got it. But I'm doing pretty well. It's just me and Peach. Oh, okay. Okay. She's got a good idea hiding in that corner, but not good enough. We win. Nice. All right. Daisy wins. What a weird mini game. I love it, but it's weird. Okay. So for that one, looks like we got ourselves. Eight coins. This seems to be the standard for winning a mini game like this. We haven't gotten the coin mini game yet. So I'm at 31 coins. So I'm the only. No, Wari can also afford two stars at 15. So he's probably going to get that. He's going to hop up the two stars. Heads up, just three turns left. Let's see how things stand. In first place, Daisy. In second place, Peach. In third place, Waluigi. And in fourth place, Wario. All right. Well, let's keep moving. Gosh, the heat is really on now. Which contestant will win in the end? Let's hear from our guest expert. Bring the expert on. Let's give him a big hand, everybody. Yeah, the expert has not been correct yet. It's Chain Chomp, though, this time. Maybe he'll be better with this. Uh, he said Wario will win, but he didn't look too confident. Oh, my. There you have it, folks. For that, we present Wario the, with Ally Phone. What is an Ally Phone? Oh, you can just call an ally, whichever one you want, instead of having to land on the ally space. We're entering the home stretch now. Even better, you'll now get 10 coins from blue spaces. Okay, so not 12, but plus 10 is still pretty huge. Whoa! Whoa, that's crazy. You get three stars from Toadette. This is your chance to turn the tide. He can't quite afford three stars. What's the matter? You don't seem very enthused. Perhaps you'd like me to spice things up for you. Hee hee hee. Okay. Uh, so he's just gonna turn all the bad luck spaces into super bad luck spaces. Wario has already landed on one. Uh-oh, Kamek has sorceled up the bad luck spaces. The extra bad luck spaces are is dangerous. Uh, do whatever it, it takes not to land there. Like it or not, we're down to the last three turns. Don't hold anything back. All right, Wario. Good luck, buddy. Oh, if he rolls a minus three right now, I mean, there's no way. He could roll a one. He could roll like minus three coins and then a one from his ally. <laughs> he gets Mario. Hi, Mario. I don't think he likes the idea of working with Mario, but I guess he's gonna take it. Our hero is here, and Mario will join you as an ally. So let's see what he gets here. He might end up just rolling a one. If he rolls a one, that'd be so good. But that would sort of match Wario's bad luck so far this round. He's actually gonna use a normal dice block, though, so there's no way he can't get to the star. Gonna roll one there, and then a one there. So he got the two. That's the minimum he can get with that roll. And that means, of course, he gets at least two stars. That's all you can really get because they're 15 each. Um, so he's gonna do that. He's gonna catch him up a little bit, which is cool. I mean, cool for him, not really cool for me, but crazy he could buy three stars in one go. Everyone's like, oh no, not him. All right, so that's gonna jump him up the third place. Sorry, Waluigi. So even now, if anybody gets an extra two coins, I still should be ahead of them in our extra two stars. I should be ahead of them in coins. All right, how much will the price per star change now? So you could get three stars for the price of one if it went from 15 to five, but not the case. So that's 30 coins right there. So the for three for the price of two for the 15 to 10. So I could afford that. I could get three more stars right there and get up to seven stars if I could get that before anybody else. I don't know where I am right now on the board. Oh yeah, I'm with Waluigi. So Waluigi, yeah, I don't have any items like he does. I think I'll still go, ugh, I would love to do a normal ice block and see if I can't get really high. I'll have to see what Koopa, no, I have Shy Guy, he has Koopa. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we got a two and a one. So he didn't go very far though. All right. What I don't like about Shy Guys is there's that chance to roll a zero. This is my item shop, would you like to buy something? I'm gonna buy that Coinado. Not a bad idea. Might help him later on. And for right now, he's very low on coins, so it doesn't help a ton. I'm really afraid of just Princess Peach catching up at this point. But it would be tough for her to. 
because like then she would be low on coins. So it really just depends. What she would she get here? A one. So she's gonna get a lucky space, but not too much closer. Here's the thing, you know, getting very close to the end of the game, make a rival lose five coins, and of course it's me. I knew it was gonna be me the moment I saw that. The moment I read it, I knew it was gonna be me. Okay, so there's no way I can land on the exclamation point. You can use other dice now. Yep, we know all about that. So there's a shy guy dice block, normal dice block. We'll try the shy guy dice block once. I really hope I don't land on a zero, but I mean, I could get an extra ally out of it. I don't, okay. And the two, okay, a six is really nice. About the best I could have rolled with the daisy and shy guy, so. Oh, and we get to buy something here if we wanted. Um, Honestly, I don't need the extra coins. I need extra moves, so we're gonna use this one. Minus three, plus three to dice roll. Very good. And uh, get plus 10 coins. Wow, so we're at 33 now. I just need to get to the stars before anybody else, so extra moves will be good. Obviously, a poison mushroom could have been helpful. One versus three. All right, um, dust buddies. <laughs> Seems like the one versus threes are obviously more advantageous for the, the one, or for the three, I mean. Uh, vacuum up the most dust. Players on the defending team should work together, decide which direction to go. Wow, that's very interesting. Oh, I like this one. This one's fun. Oh, I really like ideas like this. So Wario has a big vacuum. We have three smaller vacuums. It'll probably add up to be about the same. But we can cover a larger surface area if we work together properly. So you guys go over there. The problem is the AI isn't the smartest with this kind of stuff. So it might not work out so well. Okay, guys, I'm stuck. So you gotta move it somehow. I think we ended up getting more, but it's not done yet. We got 15 seconds left. Move over there quickly. Quickly, cut him off or something. Finish. Oh, he might have won. It's close. It's down the line. Oh, just a little bit bigger. Nice. So Peach, Waluigi, and Daisy. What a weird team. Yeah. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have done that, but it, I didn't, because I, I don't want them to get extra coins. Oh, well. Uh, it, It's something. What are we at now then? I should have gotten plus 10 for that. So did my teammates though, so that sort of stinks. But I'm at 43 coins. All right, an interesting spread of everything. Who's closer to the star? Daisy is for now. Two turns left, but unless she rolls high, I should still be able to survive this. I think if she could just roll once, twice, I mean, she's probably gonna use her two dice block things, or two dice block items, like use one now, use another later, she gets the stars. That would not be fun, especially since she can get, she technically can get up to three. Will she though? How much are they right now? They're, they're 10. So she could get three stars and get into the lead right now, which is really scary. Um, I'd rather she not do that, so we gotta do what we need to do. Um, no, not me, why me? Have have some sense here, because Princess Peach is gonna take this from all of us if she gets to the star first. Okay, how much, you only took, you took 10, yeesh. I was at 43, now I'm down to 33. And that's still enough to buy three stars if I could get there first. Or if Waluigi gets them, I don't care about that. If he gets them, I mean, he'll be up at four if he buys all three stars, which is sort of a problem. Um, but let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna go this way. He is going to use the thwomp, which means it is what? Five coins to pass, it's gonna be six for me then. But he's gonna land on the plus 10. Oh. Yeah, that stinks. So he's actually looking really, like in a good spot right now. What is she, she is actually, actually not using her item, and she gets another one because of that. So she's really paying the price for not using that item. That's gonna ruin her chances of winning. She she had it. Okay, so Daisy Daisy's gonna start now. That's good because I'm Daisy. Um, I might want to go big or go home with this. Use the dash mushroom, and then I think we're. Ah, it's so hard to say because we could get a potential nine if we roll four here. We get plus two with shy guy. Yes. Ah, that's okay, five, eight is still a good roll. So for this, we want to do the map maybe. Because this would be one, two, three, four. Yep, it says right there, five, six. So, so we'll be right with Waluigi, sure. As long as it's not Princess Peach, like that's sort of the big thing. Uh, the, the pathway to the star, seven coins now, okay. We'll do it. 
could have passed. So we're down to 26, but if we can win the next mini game, or just like, we're we on 10 here, so we're fine. So if Waluigi can somehow get really unlucky, chances are so low of that, but it's possible. So it's time for the four player mini game. Ooh, interesting symbols, I don't know what that is. It will go for the question mark one. Get over team mini game. So we use our allies, that's right. So the people with the allies, I guess, have an advantage. Uh, don't get bowled over. Grolls might roll in from left to the right, or left or the right. Oh wow, okay, so having an ally definitely helps, I guess. Okay, so let's give it a shot in real action. That's really it. That's what it means by get over it, is by jumping over it. Okay, I thought that was like, I had to respond there. So like, we have an extra chance of survival because of our allies, which is good. Oh, Mario's gone, so Wario's already low on chances here. No, Shy Guy, and her other ally. Okay, it's now just up to us. All the allies are gone already. Interesting idea though, I do like it. Come on, whoop. Yeah, okay, so I win. That is awesome to see, first place for us, so that's extra coins that I don't really need. I mean, it'll be nice to have that advantage over Waluigi if he does get to the coins before me. Because this is the last turn now. Anything can happen. Yay. Yay! Okay, so let's give it a shot. Final turn. This has been an intense round so far. This is it, the last turn. If you've fallen behind, now's the time to make your move. Use your items, collect coins, and hope to get enough bonus stars to turn the tide. So Wario's gonna start. He, he has an item. It'd be so nice if he used it on Waluigi, but he ain't. He's just like, I don't know why these guys get items and then never use them. That's just like a weird AI thing. Oh, he's all out of items. Sorry, buddy. Wario just has not had very good luck. I mean, Waluigi's technically in last right now, but he could at least shoot up the second. Depending on the situation, maybe even first, if he gets bonus stars properly. Uh, he gets received five coins, look at you. I haven't landed on a single red space, so if that's a bonus star reward this time, I won't get it. Waluigi starts. Come on, buddy. Oh, if he could get minus coins from this roll. Ah, oh, but he doesn't. He does not. But that doesn't mean I can't get three stars either, keep in mind. It really depends on what the cost is for them. Home stretch, you can get even more stars. You can get stars in a home stretch well played. So how much is it? Is he gonna get all three? Probably. Okay, yeah. So what price are they gonna go to now? Hopefully just not 15. If they stay at 10, if they stay at five, I don't care. Well actually, yeah, if I had one more coin, I could get three at, okay, it doesn't matter. As long as I can get at least one star, I should be enough in the lead that we win. I mean, I don't think Peach is gonna be able to reach it. All right, how much price for a star this time? It is. Five, nice, okay, not bad. Five coins per star. Waluigi, this is the second time this has happened to him. He bought a coin for 15, or he bought a star for 15 and it went down to five, and then he bought three stars for 15, or for 10 and it went down for, for five. Okay, so he gets a special event, it really doesn't matter much. It really is a short map. Interesting. All right, well, um, Peach is gonna move. She'll probably use her item. She won't. What's the point of buying both of those if you never use them? She gets a one again. She's really been having awful luck. Probably because she isn't using the items that make it so you don't need luck. And look, she's gonna buy another one. Yep. It's in their like programming to buy them, but not in the programming to use them. It's weird. All right, well, lucky you. You got it done. You, 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 you're there. But now, as long as I can roll, obviously, a three, we win. So that's what's amazing about this block. There's no way I can get like a zero. And we're gonna get extra spaces because of Shy Guy. So we'll have our final mini game after this. And then, yeah, everything will be awesome. So I'll be, I'll be buying all three of these, of course. So we can get one heck of a lead. Pretty cool. Uh, now they're on the home stretch. Let's buy all three of them. And we'll still have plenty of coins. We're right, for seven stars. We will have um, 29 coins. That's awesome. All right, so I think we won this one. I don't think there's any chance anybody can catch up. So very awesome getting a win as Daisy and Luigi so far, losing as Mario and Princess Peach is very odd. But I'll take it, a win is a win. Daisy is in the lead. And with it, how much will the price per star change this time? Probably not by much, I can only imagine. Uh, 10. 
Okay. It'd be interesting if there was like a secret 50 waiting in there somewhere. Just something ridiculous. I mean, that's very Mario Party, right? Uh. So I got an ally. I guess I'll just choose Goomba. Let's see what Goomba has. I love Goomba, he's cute. I'm Goomba, I've got a good feeling about you. So it gets, yeah, he's a, he's a really nice dice. I like that one. All right, so I think this means we'll have our final mini game and then we'll go in for the win. Should be a uh, two versus two, nice, okay. We don't get this too often. So it's good to see here, the fruit forecast. Weird. All right, catch the falling fruit. Uh, the players below can catch fruit the other players above miss. So it's, if I'm on top, it's important for me to make sure not to hit the spikes. But of course that means I have less time to react than the person below me. And the opposite for our teammate, Princess Peach. Okay. Let's do it. Go for the fruit, dodge the spikes. So far, so good. Ooh, I'm getting all kinds of fruit. Dodge that spike though. Get the bananas. Got it, got it, got it, get the grapes. Ooh, that was really good. Got a couple there. Okay. Oh, oh, he had the spike. So we're definitely in the lead right now with points. Sort of glanced at it real fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a lot of fruit. That is a whole bunch of fruit. 109 in total. We beat them by 40. That is crazy awesome. So there we go, we win the final mini game. I like it. Yeah, actually I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just gonna give you a higher chance of winning too. <laughs> okay, well we got it done, and that's what matters. So uh, yeah, we should have won. I really don't see any way somebody could catch up to our seven stars and however many coins. All right, the last turn is over, which means it's time to announce the results. Who won? Who gets the bonus stars? Who is the proper party master? The final extravagant adventure is complete. What a star-studded showdown that was. I can't wait to, sh to see who won out. Pretty sure it was us. Yes, I like how Goomba gets to be featured even though he didn't really do anything. I'll kick things off by announcing the bonuses. Each bonus comes with a star. The first bonus is Buddy Bonus. That goes to me, the Buddy Bonus. This bonus goes to the player who ended up with just the right ally. Or maybe not, I thought it would be the most. And the bonus goes to Daisy who had Shy Guy as an ally. I guess whoever gets in the most spaces moved or something. The second bonus is eventful bonus. The eventful bonus. This bonus is uh, for the player who landed on the most event spaces. That might be Waluigi. And bonus goes to Waluigi and the Daisy. Wow, we we tied. All right, so we should have definitely been able to get about nine stars there. So let's see what the winner is. Wario, Waluigi, Peach, Daisy. The winner this time is Daisy, yay, okay, very cool. So we won this one, that means we've, we've tasted victory twice out of our four episode series so far. That is awesome. So we got nine stars and 39 coins. That's an insane amount. So, so much. As you can see, we explored it for, uh, with stars at the very end. Very cool. So glad we were able to win this map. It seems like a difficult one, so it was cool to get it done. Um, and we get 4,000 points for that, very nice. Okay, so what's going on now? Whoa, what is this? We got a gem. You've cleared every stage in Mario Party. I, I moved to tears. Resilience is in the face of all types of adversity is a true definition of tenacity. To reward such resilience, I present to you the gem of tenacity, which gleams like it's on fire. Wow, cool. So there's one gem. I guess we have to get five of these in total. You get a gem. What do we get for completing all of these? It looks like we have four more to get before we find out. Only four more gems until you get them all. The road to the superstardom begins here. Yeah, nice, that's cool. I like how there is sort of like a uh, story mode in some way then. So that that's it. I guess we've gotten all the Mario Party maps done. Wow, that was amazing. You cleared Kamek's tantalizing tower. I guess yeah, it gets a golden clear if we actually win. You got the gem of tenacity, so I might do that later on once we complete everything else. I might go back and try to get wins on these maps or something like that. All right, so there we have it. We played a little bit as Daisy. I do wanna check out the party pad to see more um, information about Daisy. Um, as you can see, 
uh, right here, Daisy Dice Block looking to travel three, maybe four spaces. This die is for you. So that's very cool. Um, I like it, nice description, because it's totally correct. But yeah, there is all the Mario Party maps done, so let me know what you guys want to see next. We'll probably do one of these two, either this raft thing, the river survival, or the sound stage. Uh, whatever one you want to see, let me know, but we'll find out by next episode. For now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Super Mario Party. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Star so that you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.